been a while since we've had a little bit of a Royals chat here, Troy, and as our official uh, Royals correspondent, uh, or at least very specifically a period around the early 70s, where you're very across just, the correspondence just between... the month of November yeah. 1975. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, by the way, can I just ask you, as, 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 the, as the man who I think has written the the best history of that time. How do you feel about... I know Channel 2's come round for another swing with another podcast and all the yep. rest of it. Uh, are they inevitably going to leave an awful lot of it out and basically the great man was cut down by an evil bloke in a top hat and they ignore the following two elections after November 11? Uh, well, I've been listening to the podcast and uh, they actually reached out to me or I reached out to them and we had some sort of uh, discussion about it. Um, we'll wait and see because, um, you know, this is one of the most fascinating, compelling stories from Australian political history, the dismissal of the Whitlam government, the personalities, the power plays, uh, and all the conspiracy theories. But, you know, essentially this, there, is, there were no conspiracies um, other than Kerr deceiving his Prime Minister and, and dismissing him um, without warning. Um, so it remains to be seen. I've got an, I've got an eagle ear listening to this uh, to see whether they do get into the conspiracy territory because Jenny Hocking's claim which gets bigger and bigger every week that the Queen knew of the dismissal in advance and approved it is complete garbage. It's not backed up by any testimony on the record or any archival documents. So, Why she so, 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 this so if the, just hang on. So if the if the ABC go there, I'll come down on them like a ton well, of bricks. You fact checked him every but, week, but, but they're not, why, they're why, not why there yet. She, as an historian, why does she make this claim? Um, I don't know. I, th I think she's, she's misread the political situation in 1975. She's misread uh, some of the archival documents. Uh, because she, we're not allowed to see the letters that Kerr wrote to the Queen uh, during, the, during the crisis, she thinks that there's going to be some bombshell revelation in there. Yeah. And she started to invent stuff. And, um, and you know, Gough Whitlam himself never believed the Queen uh, had anything to do with the dismissal. Well, all